Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Torox the Brass Bull in Immortal Empires. So I was heading south to take out Alariel, or to take on Alariel. And I've got the the orc tribe here, the blue vipers that have showed up and kind of taken up all of the territory that I raised, which is probably fine. I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I'll probably end up having to fight them. But the, my main thing is I'm really trying to rack up ruination because I need to get these uh, milestones, which I've been very slow in getting so far. So now this, so they don't have much of a garrison, but they do have a full army there. Um, I don't know if I might get myself into trouble going against Alariel, but I need to fight battles. So what are you going to do? Got to keep the momentum rolling. So, let's go to war with Alariel and see. So she's at war with Marathi, which I'm also at war with Marathi. I'm just at war with everybody, so. Oh boy, this is scary. I'ma do it. <laughs> now I'm at war with all of Ulthwan, basically. Pyrrhic victory, high casualties. Let's see what the map looks like here. Yeah, it's kind of swampy. So they have a Heavens Caster, but she's low. Well, she's got Wind Blast and Harmonic Convergence. But she doesn't have Common of Kazandora, and that's the big thing. And she doesn't have Heroes. Has a couple Sisters of Avalorn. Um, I mean, I feel like I should just fight it. Why not, right? Just fight it. What's the worst that could happen? I can match their Reaper Bolt. Well, let's see. 380. My Cygor is 400. So I actually have better range with this Cygor. I don't know if this is just the Regiment of Renown that has 400 or if all Cygor have 400, but... I'm almost thinking, like, post up my army. Well, I was going to say post them up more defensively, but. Hello, friend. Um, the video encoding is having issues. This ought to be fun if my cat is going to just hang out here. Hi, buddy. Yes, I know. Hi, buddy. He's such a good kitty. Oh, you're going to sit right in front of my keyboard. That's gonna be a challenge. Let's see if I can re. Whoa, I had to move my mouse. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Oh my goodness. Give everybody whiplash. This is one of those battles where having Torox as Vanguard deploy would be actually pretty nice. But. Let's see. Hi, hi buddy. I know, I, I love you too. You're a good kitty. How should I do this? Have them come from one side, have the Minotaurs go up the middle. And then I could have like... I don't know if I want the archers coming from that side because the trees are over there. So it almost would be better to have the gore herd on the other side. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't really know what my strategy is. My strategy, I guess, actually would be like to try to get them from all sides instead of like one area, one central area funneling in. It would be to try to attack from all areas, all sides. But then I've got these big guys that are not Vanguard deployed, which sucks. And the Cygore, actually, I'm going to put the Cygore and my hero over here. Torox up the middle, I think, the Jabberwock. Jabber, not, not Jabberwocky, Jabberslife. All right, so let's see here. First up, I want Torox just going ham on the infantry. I want these guys to move 
up a bit because I want the Saigor to be like over here and then the hero over here because I'm going to just drop another Saigor like on this side. I want the Minotaurs, so my anti-large Minotaurs. I guess it doesn't really matter because they don't, they have some large, like the Tyranoc Chariots, Treekin. But honestly, they're probably just gonna, but I need to line them up the way they're, okay. Silver and guard, it's not gonna be the best matchup for my guys because they are large dudes, but if, uh, if, um, Torox can soften him up a bit. Actually, just have these guys kind of run into. I'd love to have the harpies go after the reaper bolt, or the, yeah, they're not dark elves, the eagle claw bolt, whatever, but I may have them hang back for just a second to figure out what's going on here, and then the jabber slaith, because the anti-infantry could go against the white lions, I guess. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to take some heavy casualties, I think, so. Okay, so we got some spears coming over here. I'm going to use them as a protection against the... Okay, so the harpies are taking some ammunition. Where's Torox? Oh boy. The Minotaurs are going to get absolutely annihilated. They got there way faster than everybody else. I need you to go after some of the shadow warriors. Yeah, that hurts a bit. That hurts a bit. Back out, back out. Jabber Slate, same with you. Where's Torox? Actually, I have to pull everybody else back. buff him up a bit. I would like to take out the Lord if I could take him off guard mode. Okay. Who's dying the worst? These guys are. All right. So I need to, I need to pause because I need to take stock in what's going on here. So I'm getting annihilated by the sisters of Avalorn and the shadow warriors. So if I can prioritize actually do have spearmen. I'm going to move these guys closer actually come up and hit. Okay, the Jabber Slythe could go after the White Lions of Trace. Okay. Okay, so now I got two Saigor. All right. Yeah, have this guy move closer. Okay. If I could just take her out. Oof. Somebody is really low on hit points. I really do not want to lose. I'd rather lose harpies than my minotaurs. Pull them back out again. Okay, so that was just the side where I was like, who died so quickly? Oof. Ouch. They're getting absolutely destroyed. Gore herd are getting destroyed as well. I was just gonna pull the whole army back and have Torox just tank a lot of it. Actually, 
actually, how do you come this way? Well, got a lot of guys that can't actually get out of dodge. Pull you all back. I don't I don't know why my cat is scratching me. Alright, if I could get a clump, get a nice spell going here. He's, yeah, he's gonna take some damage, but Get him to. Oh, yeah, these guys are gonna get stuck. They're not gonna make it. Regroup. Alright, did I take out their lord? Or did she escape? in there to do another spell. Right now I'm trying to prioritize not losing my army. Torox can tank it. But this guy cannot easily tank it. be providing covering support okay so that phoenix is going to debuff it a little bit Now the army is starting to come after me, but if I can regroup a bit. Okay, so who's shooting at me? The Eagle Claw? As I say, this matchup should favor my Saigor. See what we got here. Strong versus character. I want to cast it on this guy. Okay, good. Just snap. The spears go up against them. Okay, so now. Did I lose a unit? I think I did. Or they ran off the map at least. It's the Sisters of Avalorn. All 
Okay, so they're starting to route here. Get explosion off here. Okay, I gotta get some of these. We've definitely had some units flee off the map, I think. Yeah, we're starting to turn the corner, I think. Alright, we won! It definitely was Pyrrhic. Try to wipe the floor with some of these guys. So the Lothern Sea Guard shields. Take guard mode off. I'd like to have you guys take out some of these units. Hope they run into that. I can't remember how long that takes to cast. Um, yeah, I don't know that that really did that much. Oh, who could you go after? So, is this just for myself? Yeah, probably. Because he took so much damage, you know. Alright, so we've almost taken out the Lothern Sea Guard. I'll have to see who the biggest... Um... The biggest uh, damage dealer, highest damage dealer. I don't know how you'd want to say that, but the highest damage dealer was on their side. But I will kind of fast forward this just to just want to harry them as much as I can. Actually, now that I think about it, it was a garrison, so I don't know that I make that makes that much difference. Okay, so on their side, the Sisters of Avalorn. I should have known. At least it was just the one unit. And then, like, their Flame Spire Phoenix and their Frost Heart Phoenix did some damage, but I, I don't have much to answer for um, flying units. So, but Torox got quite a few. I mean, overall, the most part, like, my Minotaurs did good, but they just took a lot of damage. And my Ungors. I really want to replace the Ungors with Minotaurs, but I just can't get that, that, uh, Ruination. Is it Ruination? I think it's Ruination. High enough. So. But I, I don't think... Unless I lost... Okay, I didn't. I didn't lose any units. So that was the biggest thing. Got quite a bit of dread. All right, so I need to find, so six, zero, six. I want the ancient city of Quintex. So part of me is hoping I can underway in there, but I don't know if I can. So I'm gonna get real clo close, but I do have great um, replenishment. So that helps a lot. Uh, Vigor, yeah, I'll just leave it here. But Torox does get to level up. Alright, I don't have any other weapon to give them, so... Alright. Trying to beef up those monitors. Alright. 
So Vicar and Speed. Speed is good, but I also, yeah, that's right. I was trying to go. We'll go that route. All right, so rolling death. Oh, regeneration for a Jabber Slythe. That would be pretty decent. So seven turns for that. That's fine. I do have a Jabber Slythe, so that would make sense. Alright, I do want to... So eight. Six. And I've raised pretty much everything around there, so I don't think it makes sense to set up a herdstone there. I'll just raise it. Leadership. Actually, I'll give you Banner of Rage. I'll give you Leadership. Uh, give that to the Chaos Spawn. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I'll, I'll just... Oh, I love they've got the Mark of Slanesh. Anywho, I, uh... I love the casualty replenishment rate that I've got going on here. It's really nice. He did level up a little bit, so that'll help even more. The casualty. Oh, and I think the. I'll have to check something. I think I'm losing my mind. Um. That's right. That's right. All damage units will be fully replenished. That's why my rep my replenishment is that good. It's not normally that good, but that's why. So makes sense. Okay. Um, and I think. That's the turn, honestly. I don't know that there's anything else I can do. So. If I can get to the ancient city of Quintex. I should have done that before raising Forest of Arnheim because I'm not sure if that counts, but we've got some other places around here that might count. Plus this already has 12, so I need to get to 100 and I'm at what? Where am I currently at? Where do I see that? Uh, 52. So it's really slow going. But now I have successfully angered all of the high elves that are on Ulth 1 at least. So with my luck... They'll send an army up to settle Forest of Arnheim, and then I can just raise it again to get more ruination. That's my goal. And then the Sisters of Twilight are still out there somewhere. I have no idea how they're still a thing. Oh, what? Who did that? Who wounded my hero? You jerk. Stinker. Oh, and Malekith is coming to town. That's not going to be a good matchup for me. So I better just raise while I can. Or I could just have him sit at the Witchwood. But that's... We'll go this way. I don't know that he can catch up to me. Okay, so I lost my replenishment, so I gotta replenish up this way. The old-fashioned way. Okay, so I have a lot of dread. What should I spend it on? Ooh, should I get one of the cool lords? New Horde armies are... 2,000. Alright, rank 15. Oh, I've got to get the previous upgrade. So, okay. So I'd have to go this way. That's actually pretty decent. Just shy of being able to do both of those. The items... 
Not as necessary. The Lord would be cool to get one of the Lords. Spell resistance. Well, hmm. I need eight more marks of ruination. I need 48 more. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm going to go with this. I don't know if that's good or not, but that's what I've done. And then I'm going to bring this guy back to maybe protect the Witchwood because the sisters are coming back again. Oh, they've got Ariel this time. Lovely. Hello, it's me. It's -a me, a Torox. And Marathi. I can take her on. No sweat. But maybe a little bit of sweat, but mostly no sweat. Okay. I have two hearthstones, so I could raise a hearthstone in either direction if I wanted to. So far, nobody has messed with this one except Louis Beast Spitta is hanging out there. Don't know why Lewin's over there, but this is fine. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna, I guess, send it around, and the next time I'm gonna go after the ancient city of Quintex. Quintex? Interesting. I feel like this isn't going to be that bad for me. But the problem is I don't have the ability to... I, d I don't think I can fight this now. But I think I'm going to pick up next time um, and fight this. So... Yeah, I don't think this is going to be bad. Even if they come in from behind me, I don't think that this should be a Pyrrhic victory with losing that many. She has... She doesn't even have Spirit Leech. I can see. And this chick has Power of Darkness. Chill Wind. That kind of hurts a little bit, but... Alright, I'm going to save it here, everybody. And we will pick up next time with this battle against a couple Marathi armies at the ancient city of Quintex and see if we can do better than what the Autoresolve has. Me losing my gore herd, some ungores, and a harpy unit. So that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you come back and see me in the next one.